Fabrizio Romano has rubbished one Manchester United transfer rumour that involved a potential £40 million exit. The Reds signed Matthijs De Ligt, Nocer Masraoui, Lenny Yoro, Joshua Zerkazi and Manuel Ugarte in the summer transfer window. These acquisitions have significantly bolstered Eric Ten Hag's squad, and United also succeeded in making player sales over the summer, which helped fund their transfer strategy. Some potential exits did not come to fruition, however. Rumors remain around a couple of players since other transfer windows are still open. Fabrizio Romano rubbishes Antony transfer rumor There have been recent reports claiming that Antony is a target for Turkish club Fenerbahce, whose transfer window does not close until the 18th of September. Reports elsewhere claimed that United had put a £40 million price tag on the Brazilian winger amid interest from various clubs. However, Fabrizio Romano has claimed that Antony will not join Fenerbahce in the final days of the Turkish transfer window. In terms of wingers moving out, Antony has been linked with Fenerbahce, but that deal is not happening, Romano wrote in his daily briefing. After that, I can't predict the future, it's only September, so let's see how the season goes, and then next summer, Antony and Man United will decide. There's no decision made now, he's staying, and he will have a chance. A shame no loan move could work it was obvious that Antony would not be loaned out after Jad and Sancho's exit, but it is a shame because his minutes look extremely limited this season. Ahmed Diallo and Alejandro Garnacho are both ahead of him in the pecking order, and the Brazilian does not boast any real positional flexibility that would allow him to fit in elsewhere. Antony will only be getting minutes in cup competitions or when rotation is needed, but it is doubtful that he will be able to turn things around or increase his value with this amount of game time. He has played just four minutes of football in United's last seven competitive fixtures, and it doesn't seem like that will change especially when the forward options are bolstered by the return of Rasmus Hoyland. A summer loan could have given the winger the chance to play consistently in an attempt to reignite some of his form from Ajax. That would have given United a boost in terms of clubs interested in signing him and his valuation, but they look somewhat stuck with the Brazilian now.